GDI systems I mentioned can be pressurized for up to two hours. Follow the shop safety procedures. Make sure you have a fire extinguisher handy and wear personal protection such as your goggles and you should be fine if you do one of these two procedures prior to opening up a high pressure GDI system. Now you can still work on the tank and so forth on the low pressure side and depressure it in the normal manner you've always done with sequential fuel injection systems. But on these high sides, do one of these two procedures. Number, number A, procedure A is simply wait two hours and then just on the safe side, you go ahead and you crack this loose with some shop towels around it just to catch any kind of a dribbling fuel. Procedure B, if you don't have the patience to wait two hours, you gotta get on the job, get it done, then go ahead and crank the engine with either the fuel pump fuse, that's the low pressure pump in the tank, or relay removed, or take a bi-directional scan tool that can turn the relay off, turn the pump off, actually command the fuel pump control module to turn the low pressure pump off, and when the pump's off, or the fuse or the relay is pulled, the vehicle, basically you run the engine until it runs out of fuel, and then you double check with your scan tool for the fuel high pressure rail PID pressure. So you're looking to see if it goes from, let's say 800 down to zero. When that pressure's at zero, you're safe to crack the lines loose and not have an issue.